Hello, Dugong and Seagrass Conservation Project partners. My name is Kirk Dollar, and I am going to explain to you how to use the virtual repository system, or the Dropbox system, for our project partners. You'll see that Maya has created a Word document that is very extensive, and in this extensive Word document, there is a table where it lists your country. And the country that you're in, you simply go to it and you click on that. And that will open a Dropbox folder. What we have done in this Dropbox folder is that we have listed all countries. And within each country folder, we have listed all projects. So in this case, we're using Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka, you can see we have LK1, which is our abbreviation for Sri Lanka, all, to, all the way down to LK8. So there are eight projects in Sri Lanka. Later on, in just a moment, I'm going to show you the contents of these folders, uh, and we'll go specifically into LK2. But I did want to call your attention to three folders at the bottom. Uh, they have the national folder. This is a National Feedback Reports and Deliverables folder. There is a National Log Frame and Tracking tool, and there is other information. You're welcome to explore those, and we encourage you to do so. These are sort of national communication uh, issues, things that we want to make sure that all partners are aware of. So let's go to the Project folder. I'll open LK2. Now, the reason that I'm opening LK2 is simply as an example. This could be your project in Malaysia or Madagascar or Mozambique or one of the other project partner countries. So in your particular project folder, you'll see six different folders. Project proposal, payments, reports and deliverables, pilot sites, geo coordinates, project context database, and important correspondence. Let's take a look at the project proposal. In the project proposal folder, there are two folders. The first one is the PPG, or Project Proposal uh, G, I don't know what the G stands for, uh, concept. And that was the original uh, proposal that was submitted uh, during the very, very early stages of this particular project. So you can review that. Then there was a review of that particular proposal, and that's listed there as well. So let's go uh, back one folder, and you can also explore the 2015 where we have uh, uh, uploaded several different documents. This is more of a historical look at your particular project. Let's go back to the country folder, and now we'll move down to the payments folder. In the payments folder, you can see in this particular case, we have LK2, which is the project number, and uh, CAR number one PDF. You can open that if you want to, and you can take a look. Uh, it'll open in Dropbox, and then you can see all of the materials associated with that. Now, one of the most important uh, folders for you to pay attention to and to learn how to use is called the Reports and Deliverables uh, folder. This is divided into years, starting in 2015, which in this particular project, K2, is when the project started. Other projects may have started later or maybe earlier, probably not. But in this case, we've got 2015, we've got 2016, we've got 2017, and we have 2018. Why don't we go just to be current to the 2016 folder? Here, this folder is further divided into three other folders. In this, uh, we've got the half-yearly progress report, we've got the quarterly expenditure reports, and we have the code finance reports. We'll go through each one of these and just give you a quick explanation of what's in each. In the half-yearly progress report, it's further subdivided into two additional folders, and these indicate the first half of the year and the second half of the year. So we've got January through June 2016, and we have the upcoming or the current period that we're in now, which is July through December 2016. Let's take a look at the half yearly report, January to June 2016. Now, in this particular folder, we have actually the half yearly report from the, this project, LK2, HYR's half yearly report, Jan June uh, 2016. We would like you to pay attention to the way that this file has been labeled. We want to standardize that across all projects so that it will be listed with the project identifier, in this case, LK2. 
the half yearly report, HYR, and then the period. Uh, that can be opened and that can be looked at and that can be studied. Um, there are supporting documents and photos, which we all uh, would like you to put in any kind of uh, supporting documents as well as photographs. We do need photographs so that we can publish them on our website and document what's happening in our, in our project. Now let's go to this one. This is, obviously, there's nothing in it because we are in this current reporting period, but when you have this, your half yearly report finished, we want you to upload that document to this folder. The way that you upload a document to a particular folder is you navigate to the folder and then you simply click here, upload, choose files, uh, and then you can go directly to where the file is located on your particular computer. In this case, we have some beautiful t-shirts that were uh, demonstrated uh, or were submitted by uh, our Malaysian partners. And obviously, it doesn't work for this one, but let's go back. I'll just get some Okay, so we've just covered the half yearly progress reports. Let's take a look at the quarterly expenditure reports. Under quarterly expenditure reports, again, you can see it divided into particular periods. In this case, January through March. Obviously, we're talking about three months here uh, in, in a particular year. So there's January through March 2016. There's April through June 2016, July through September 2016, and October through December 2016. If you click on January through March 2016, we see some quarterly expenditure reports that have been completed and submitted by our Sri Lanka partner, LK2. And then the other ones will have other uh, similar files. These have all been pre-populated by our project coordination team. Uh, however, as you complete them, we ask that you again go through the upload process and put the documents right in there, paying particular attention to, way, to the way that the documents uh, are labeled. Remember the project partner, the type of report, and the date that we are looking at. Try to replicate that. If you have any questions, just look, ask us or look into the folder and try to replicate that. Then you can also see the co finance reports. Co finance again into periods. Go to January, June 2016. There's a document folder right there. So look at this Dropbox folder as an archive for your project in terms of documents that the project coordination team have received, but also look at it as a place where you can upload documents, finalized, finished documents that you want to communicate to the project coordination team. This will serve as an archive so that our internal reviewers that will be coming in very, very soon uh, can access all the documents that each individual project has uh, created and uh, worked through. I think that gives you a pretty good understanding of how to use the Dropbox, uh, how we've designed it. Please, if you have any questions, please send us an email. Uh, we look forward to talking to you in the future. Thanks very much.